semiconductors are considered to be the lifeblood of the world today. Everything these days, from your watch to your washing machine, seems to be smart, connected, and so enabled by semiconductors, which are becoming more and more popular. Thus, it should come as no surprise that a severe shortage of chips is now affecting all categories, as some industry leaders have said, and is having a significant effect. These supply bottlenecks are also having a negative impact on EV manufacturers all around the globe. That's why you see manufacturers securing deals with suppliers for years to come. Some even go as far as to start their own chip manufacturing company. To cope with the chip scarcity, Lucid has found an elegant plan as well. Plus, learning a trick or two about vertical integration. Much more on this in a bit, so stick around. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder, subscribing's free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar content. Comments are loved and featured in our upcoming videos. The worldwide chip shortage is having a significant impact on almost every business around the globe. The typical customer is already experiencing it personally when new gadgets and products are postponed or in limited supply. But they may become even more impatient if technology's promises of an AI-powered future fail to materialize due to a shortage of technology to run it on. Hardware, or in other words, semiconductors, are not the sole means of enabling these powerful computer-learning-powered functions on portable devices, but without them, you can't move much further either. The automobile sector was one of the most severely affected by the epidemic. In 2021, the demand for new cars was strong, but chip makers were unable to keep up with demand. This is mostly due to shifting consumer demands related to travel, employment and security, and factory shutdowns throughout lockdown periods. In recent years, consumption of semiconductors of all sizes and powers has risen substantially, and suppliers, for the most part, kept up with the market until the current manufacturing slump slowed production. To give you an idea of the scope of this relatively complicated issue in the tech industry, the shortage does not just impact high-end cell phones and computers, but it also affects a variety of other things. Several consumer items, wearables including smartwatches, home automation technology, and cars, to mention a few, have lately been upgraded to smart status and most definitely are affected by it. Given that automobiles are becoming more intelligent, they need brains in order to carry out their tasks. Even more so if you're a maker of electric vehicle batteries, since it requires twice as many chips as other combustion engines, which means, on average, it requires roughly 2,000 chips for every EV. That's a lot of brains, but it makes sense since these are the smartest a car can get in the current generation. The question is, where do you source all of these chips, particularly when the epidemic has driven many chip makers to close their doors? Not to mention terrible incidents, such as fires at semiconductor manufacturing facilities. Furthermore, the government is not exactly acting to assist the tech industry. In that case, Lucid has taken matters into its own hands. This seems to be a savvy decision on the part of the company. There is no end in sight to the worldwide shortfall of semiconductors and therefore, Lucid has decided to open up shop in Taiwan. For the semiconductor sector, Taiwan has a single Taiwanese producer that supplies more than half of the world's chips. That is just absurd. This demonstrates the enormous size of the industry. Lucid might want a piece of it. It's taking steps to protect itself from supply constraints that the automakers have been suffering because of the outbreak by help of professional personnel at one of the world's most exciting technological hubs. Some Dream Edition buyers have experienced delivery delays due to fit and finish hardware problems that have lately troubled the business. They don't want to get bad press. And that is why they hired professionals in Taiwan. First and foremost, there is an advertisement for a global supply chain manager PCBA position. That is an abbreviation for Printed Circuit Board Assembly, 
and we all know what their activities will be in the company. They will be working closely with vendors in that case, chip manufacturer, to ensure that everything meets Lucid's requirements, finding possible new vendors to get quotations from, and engaging in quote-unquote favorable contract negotiations on price for components, tooling expenses, and engineering services. Working with vendors and engineers to build experimental components and discover answers to problems or delays when they surface, the supply chain manager will also be tasked with ensuring that goods returning to the United States arrive frequently. Afterwards, there are these two jobs that are almost the same in nature. These people will be charged with the design and the development of high-voltage, high-power electrical unit packaging, like those found in an electric vehicle's onboard charging system, or the DC-to-DC -DC converter that reduces the high-voltage power from the battery to the lower levels used to run headlights, window motors, and fans. The job positions are all in Taipei, Taiwan's capital. Given Taiwan's status as a technological hotbed, it's understandable that Lucid would want to have men on the ground there. At a location where they can build ties with important participants in the industry and aim to ensure a consistent supply of chips for AAMP-1 in Arizona as well as Saudi Arabia. Lucid, according to reports, is attempting to bring the whole operation together, including businesses to make its own semiconductors one day. If the corporation had the ability to produce its own chips, it might prioritize its own supply requirements and sell access chips to other automakers. With the jobs posted, Lucid hopes to do a couple of things. Build ties with current suppliers and ensure a consistent supply of their products, and work toward building its own proprietary technologies to complement their existing EV lineup. This comes at a time when Lucid is looking to employ additional manufacturing staff in its home state of Arizona. The new recruits will be able to work across a variety of different features on future Lucid cars, as well as keep an eye on cutting-edge developments in the industry and integrate them into future products. Automakers are prone to take measures like these because even in the next few years, it seems that the semiconductor shortage will be a concern. Software-based solutions have made significant contributions to ongoing breakthroughs in machine learning and they have the potential to push the industry far further, but not without necessary hardware. So, when Lucid scales up production in order to meet its goal of creating 20,000 cars by 2022, safeguarding itself against supply chain problems and having a well-organized presence in Taiwan should really help make this a reality. But, as always, I'm interested in hearing your thoughts about Lucid's presence in Taiwan. Do you believe that the firm will one day have its own chip subsidiary and would go all in on integration? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment down below. Laura McCabe says Lucid will be her next car. She has a Tesla that has an extraordinary number of problems with it. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.